<coughs> Our next speaker is from the Congressman Bruce Braley's office, Rob Goldsmith. Rob. Good morning. I just have a brief uh, statement to read from Congressman Braley. I apologize that I was unable to attend this important groundbreaking today. However, I'm very excited to see this vitally important infrastructure project coming to Clinton. As many of you know, the Union Pacific Transportation Corridor is one of the most important rail corridors in the country. Each year, millions of tons of freight move along this rail line. This rail port will bring major economic development to Clinton and provide endless possibilities for new businesses and job creation. I'm pleased that the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, which I voted for in the House, helped bring this important development project to Clinton. I look forward to seeing this rail port completed, as well as seeing the positive economic impact it will have in the Clinton community. Thank you. Before we move forward just a little bit, I forgot to recognize one person or one organization as the Clinton Chamber of Commerce and uh, President Julie Allison, if she would stand. That could cause trouble at home. <laughs> How do you couch that one? <laughs> Clinton uh, County Board of Supervisors, I think, is Joe Davison. Good morning, and welcome, everyone, uh, especially to Governor and to Jim. We're sure glad you're here. I, people that know me usually know I don't use notes when I give a speech, but I thought, gee, I'm in front of the governor. Maybe I better look like I've got something. <laughs> so, so, welcome. Welcome to Clinton County. The sun always shines, always shines here, and the winds blow, and life is good in Clinton County, right, people? So, uh, we're, we're, we're extremely happy to be a part of this event today. Um, and today, um, I want to share what I was having trouble deciding how I wanted to get my message from the county's perspective across on this. And so, do you hear that? That was opportunity knocking. <laughs> uh, and today marks the time of opportunity. With this rail port project, we have the opportunity that many areas would never have to partner with Union Pacific and go forward with such an, uh, a unique situation. Um, with this project, we have the opportunity to attract industries and businesses that will help to give more opportunities <coughs> to the local uh, uh, county and to the neighboring counties. With this, the businesses and then industries will have an opportunity also. They will have an opportunity to hire some of the best some of the hardest working and most dedicated individuals that you will ever find. They live right here in Clinton County and in the Midwest. With this, we will also have the opportunity to grow our county and to grow fiscally so that we can participate and provide services that affect everyone that lives here. And as a Board of Supervisor member, that's important to me. So with this, we also have the opportunity to have a life in, and an environment in Clinton County that will attract our young people and then stay here. And as a grandma, I'm sure glad my kids are here so I can see my grandchildren when I want to. Um, I'm sure many of you had a mother like I used to have. When someone came knocking at our door, a guest, she always said, come on in. She'd find them a comfy chair, give them a cup of coffee, a snack, and she would let them know how glad she was that they had come to see us. Well, today, the Board of Supervisors in Clinton County says to all of you, come on in. We're sure glad you're here. Thank you, Jim. The next person is featured from the Clinton County Development Association, Greg Tubbs.
Thank you. And welcome, Governor. Welcome, Jim. Welcome, you. welcome everyone here. Uh, as president or current president uh, of the Clinton County Development Association, uh, I'm pleased to communicate the CCDA's uh, support for this project. Uh, as uh, many of you may know, the CCDA is a qualifying sponsoring organization that holds the gaming license for the Wild Rose Clinton LLC, which allows it to operate as a casino here in Clinton County. In return, the Wild Rose pays the CCA, CCDA a percentage of, our, of its monthly revenues. Our nine-person board, many of whom have been introduced and are here today, um, meet monthly to carry out our core mission, which is uh, to manage the grant process and award these funds coming from the Wild Rose. Uh, the CCDA has pledged $2 million to the rail port, and, and, our belief, and our board believes this project will promote economic activity, economic development, and that, uh, that development will bring jobs and investment to Clinton County, thereby growing our tax base, uh, and in turn drawing additional ac economic activity. Since its inception in 1991, the CCDA uh, has uh, awarded grants totaling uh, over $20 million. Uh, that money has funded many worthwhile, pro worthwhile projects for our, our schools and communities, including obviously this project. Uh, we've also funded college scholarships uh, for Clinton County high school graduates, and since uh, 2007, we have awarded $96,000 uh, in those scholarships. Uh, over uh, many years, uh, there has been uh, great partnership and, and cooperation by many individuals, entities, and municipalities. Uh, and those individuals and, and groups have, have provided the vision and leadership to see this project through. Uh, our county supervisors, the city of Clinton, the CRDC, provided a lot of the funding. But uh, a lot of other entities and municipalities have endorsed the project. DeWitt, Comanche, Lowmore. I uh, want to take the opportunity to thank that leadership. Uh, there have been a lot of individuals that have, have uh, pushed, pulled, and dragged this project when it seemed that it was, it was, being, it was bogged down, uh, but it's great to, to have this day finally here. Uh, finally, I want to be sure to uh, thank the Wild Rose ownership uh, and management. Is Tim here? Uh, okay. All right. Uh, uh, for their involvement and, and obviously the, the funding source uh, for the CCDA. Uh, finally, uh, I want to take the opportunity as well uh, to remind everyone this fall uh, on a fairly lengthy ballot uh, there will be a, a referendum to continue uh, gaming in Clinton County uh, and if you like this project and you like the, the grants that are being awarded I encourage you to uh, make sure you uh, see that uh, referendum uh, and vote uh, in support of it. Thank you very much. Next speaker is Thank you, everyone. Uh, this uh, day is really a day of thanks. Thanks to all of you that have supported us in the past. Um, thanks to our city leadership, uh, current, uh, past, and in the future that's going to drive this uh, project forward. Also, the county uh, supervisors uh, that are here today have been very supportive of this project from, from the start. The state, uh, the DOT, and the, of course the federal uh, government with their stimulus dollars. Our partners at the UP Railroad, um, I'd really like to uh, recognize Wayne Borg in the back there. He's the bald-headed fella. Uh, there you go. <laughs> We were having dinner last night with Wayne and our consultant, uh, Mio Rail and Guido, and we were trying to figure out when this all began. And it was sometime, it, we drilled it down to sometime in the 90s, but um, it was Wayne and uh, Hugh Lamont, who was our uh, past uh, president of the uh, uh, Clinton Regional Development Corporation, Bob Holsinger, and I believe one of your bosses, Wayne, that were out here, and they, they walked this rail behind me, and they uh, determined that this is the sweet spot. And we've always called it the sweet spot. We've owned it for about 15 years, and now we're finally doing something with it. So thanks, Wayne and Bob and Hugh. I know you're up there, and uh, he is smiling down upon us today. Um, also, Um, 
Bill Venema, who was a uh, leader in uh, the economic development group uh, long ago, who helped uh, uh, formulate and commission the first feasibility study of this rail port and, and the design of it. So there's just been so many people that have worked tirelessly on this over, you know, really 15 years. Um, you know, this project is going to set us apart from the masses. We really do have a world-class facility in the making. And as the government, uh, governor said, we'll be able to attract thousands of jobs to our region and the county. Um, it's the only project uh, at, uh, like it, as uh, Jim has said, in Iowa, and the uh, only one of just a small few across the nation that 